Malcolm X said, education is our passport to the future. For tomorrow belongs to the people who prepare for it today. Right? So I know y'all may be thinking like, why is Afrofuturism important? Right? Why is consuming this type of content even important? Right? And I'm gonna I'm I'm do a li little bit of data. All right, a little, little bit of data, but studies have shown that early exposure to college, to careers, to role models have a positive impact on outcomes for the youth. So early exposure to things, to seeing people in the future, to seeing stockbrokers, to seeing lawyers, doctors, entrepreneurs, teachers. If you're able to be exposed to that sooner, it has a positive impact on your future. So my question to you is when you're consuming the movies and the the books and the comics what are the african-american characters doing all right it's important because what those characters are doing impacts what little me thinks i'm able to do in the future what those characters are doing impacts what my children someday will be able to look at a screen and think what the possibilities are for them based on what they're consuming through this screen and you may think that oh no devon Right. What I watch has no impact on me. The video games that I'm playing, the cartoons that I'm watching, they have no in impact on me. Be careful. All right. Be careful. Let, let's go into some some research by Children's Health or Kids Health by Nemour. And it says that kids who view violent acts on TV are more likely to show aggressive behavior and to fear that the world is scary and that something bad will happen to them. All right, so just the mere fact that you're watching these violent things on TV and sometimes there is some violence towards black characters or black real people on TV makes you view the world as scary and dangerous. If you view the world as scary and dangerous, you're now going to take less risks. Right. You're now maybe like, oh, maybe I don't need to chase my dream, become an entrepreneur because the world is scary. Maybe I don't need to travel to Thailand, to Brazil, to Africa because the world is scary. And if you're not traveling, you're not seeing and experiencing more of the life that you could see. Next, teens who play violent video games and apps are more likely to be aggressive. If you're more likely to be aggressive, you're more likely to get into fights and altercations. If you're more likely to get into fights and altercations, you're more likely to get possibly arrested or even personally harmed, right? So I'm not gonna, you know, bore you too much with this stuff, but the point of this is saying what you consume has a direct impact on how you feel and how you react. And what I love about Afrofuturism, at least as a broad term, Right? I know there are some aspects of it that could be negative depending on the, the artist who's creating it. But as a broad term, the point of Afrofuturism is to put positive images and positivity into the environment that shows black people not only in the future, but also shows them having power and agency in the past. And if you're able to, to see that, experience that and absorb it, I believe it will have a positive impact on our community and a positive impact on you as an individual, okay? So my, my charge for you, especially after, after the end of this course, is to find some Afrofuturism artists that you appreciate, whether it's a book, whether it's a song, whether it's a movie, find some positive content for you to consume. And if you don't identify within the African-American community, find something within your own culture that you can consume that is positive or continue to you know pour into the cup be an amazing ally and create content or consume content of the afrofuturism genre much love much appreciated and of course make sure you keep on snacking peace